Welcoming someone new into the family takes a lot of love, an open heart, and a willingness to change life as you knew it. These families open their homes to new members of all ages. Get those tissues ready. Their stories will move you to tears. Magic Moment After Dennis and Karita Chen tried to conceive for nine years, they discovered that they had fertility issues. It was then that they found an adoption attorney whose client was looking for an Asian couple to adopt her baby. Sadly, the birth mother changed her mind, choosing a family member to adopt instead. But then, right after the baby was born, the option fell through. The hospital social worker called the Chens in Texas, asking them to travel to California to take custody of the baby boy. Dennis opened up on the emotional drive to the hospital. You know, the whole trip, is all, it's all been about closing the distance between us and our son. Then, after nine years of struggling, the Chens finally got to hold their baby. Hi, Jacob. I'm your dad. I have no idea how many people have prayed for you. Love and Fate When Walt Manis was a kid, he had a vision of swinging his daughter around in his parents' backyard and of God telling him her name would be Chloe. Annie, Walt's future wife, also had a name picked out for her future daughter, Chloe. After marrying, the couple tried for four years to have a child without success. It was really hard. I struggled with questioning God's goodness because I just felt like it was so mean. And Walt felt the pain just as deeply. Every time that we, we would hear about someone getting pregnant, we would just be devastated because we were thinking, this isn't going to happen for us. Then they decided to adopt, and the birth mother revealed she'd been thinking of a particular name throughout her pregnancy, Chloe. Walt and Annie both burst into tears, knowing this was the baby meant for them. Life-saving rescue Rachel and Jim Van Eerden traveled to Ecuador with the two eldest of their ten kids and visited an orphanage for children with special needs. While touring, Rachel saw a baby with Down syndrome and fell in love. The baby, whom the family named Eddie, had been found in a trash bag, and after a five-year process, the family adopted him. Rachel shared what a gift Eddie has been to their big family. Of course, there are sacrifices. but. Eddie pours into each of us far outweighs any sacrifice. Rachel told the Greensboro News and Record, He's truly blessed our lives. He's taught us more of what our lives are about, reaching out and loving people. Open Adoption Two months into Callie Mitchell's pregnancy, she and her boyfriend broke up, and she realized she wouldn't be able to give her baby the life she wanted for him. It was then that she reached out to Graceful Adoptions. Meanwhile, Kristen and Brian Dowd, a couple in their early 30s, were looking into an open adoption to increase their chances of success. We were open to anything because we wanted, you know, a child. None of them realized how open their relationship would be. Kristen was first to hold baby Leo when he was born, but Mitchell communicates with Leo every day, even visiting him on occasion, and she wouldn't have it any other way. There's no um, regret or second thoughts. Every part of me knows that I did the right thing. Neighbor Kids When Tisha Boschman's neighbor Audrey asked her to watch her three kids while she went to the hospital for testing, Boschman had no idea Audrey would quickly succumb to cancer. Boschman, who grew up in an orphanage, chose to adopt her neighbor's kids, adding to her own five children. Mutual friend Elizabeth Thames reached out to the Fox 5 surprise squad to help the family of 10. Fox 5 sent the family on a three-day trip and then went to work, doing much more than Boschman expected. They replaced the carpeting, painted, landscaped, and brought in new furniture and a Christmas tree, as well as a brand new 12-seater van. Boschman shared, It's just really overwhelming that somebody would do this for me and for my family. I didn't do anything too special. I did what anybody in my shoes would have done. All at once. After high school sweethearts Kaylee and Jeremy Carlin got married, they learned that they wouldn't be able to conceive naturally and then suffer through two failed adoptions. Then one day in August of 2015, they received a phone call about two foster sisters who needed a home. That same day, they also learned of a woman who was pregnant with twin girls who had chosen the Carlings to be their adopted parents. A little over a year later, in October of 2016, both of the adoptions were finalized within 24 hours of each other. Kaylee wrote on Reddit, Our journey to get to this point has been anything but easy. Health issues, infertility, failed adoptions, death, heartbreak. We are here to give hope to those in a similar situation to persevere, to push through. When you feel like giving up, don't. It will all be worth it in the end. BFFs Forever Elizabeth Diamond and Laura Ruffino met when they were five years old, growing up together in Buffalo, New York. Then when Diamond was just 40 years old and raising four daughters on her own, tragedy struck. Diamond was diagnosed with stage 4 brain cancer. She asked her best friend Rafino and her husband Rico to adopt her girls. She said, if anything ever happens to me, I want you to take my girls. And I said, okay. 
Rafino, who also had two daughters, told the New York Daily News, I told her we would talk about her every day and her girls would know her and remember her. When Diamond died nine months later, Rafino stepped in and adopted the girls. She told Inside Edition, We had a conversation and I told them that their real mom, who's the best mom ever, is in heaven, but while they're on earth, I will be the earth mom. And Rafino discovered a new kind of love in the process. I've never thought you could love someone else's children the way you love yours, and we do. Creating family. Even though these families come in all different shapes and sizes, one thing remains constant. Their huge hearts and their palpable love for each other knows no bounds. Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out this other cool stuff we know you'll love too.